Today we're learning about function notation, meaning how to write functions. Now you know a function is like a machine. You put something in and get something different out on the other side. If you put in this 5, the function will add 1 to it and you'll get out a 6. Now we often talk about what we put into functions as an x and what we get out on the other side as the y. Now this lets us write out functions like the one we're looking at as y, the output, is equal to x, the input, plus 1. But it turns out there's another way to write functions. Often instead of y, you'll see this, f parentheses x equals x plus 1. And now this might look like f is being multiplied by x, but that is not what this means. This f parentheses x stands for the function of x, which we often say as f of x for short. All this means is that if you take any number, an x, and put it into your function, it turns into f of x, and that's what you'll get out. So y and f of x really mean the exact same thing. Why then would anyone choose the more complicated one, the f of x? Well, it turns out that using f of x can make solving functions a little easier. Let's say you have the function f of x equals x squared. Well, if you had y equals x squared, you'd have to solve for all the y values using one of these tables. But using f of x, it's much simpler. If you want to figure out what this function equals when x is 1, you just write it as f of 1. Now, what this means is anywhere in your function you see an x, you need to substitute it with a 1. So here, f of 1 is equal to 1 squared, where it just equals 1. We could find what f of 2 equals. We just take our x and replace it with a 2. So f of 2 is equal to 2 squared. What does that equal? Well, 2 squared is just 4. We can solve for f of 3 by just plugging in a 3 squared. What does that equal? Well, 3 squared equals 9. And finally, we could solve for f of 4 by just plugging in a 4 squared. What does that equal? Well, 4 squared is just 16. So using this function notation, f of x, to write functions makes it easier for us to solve them. Let's solve some of these functions together. Let's say you're given the function f of x is equal to 1 half x plus 2. And we want to start by solving for f of 2. Well, when we do this, we have 1 half, and then we replace the x with this 2. So 1 half times 2 plus 2. And when you solve this, what do you get? Well, half of 2 is 1, and 1 plus 2 equals 3. Next, we can solve for f of 6. How should we write our function here? Well, here we have 1 half, and then we replace the x with the 6. So 1 half times 6 plus 2. And what does that equal? Well, half of 6 is 3, and 3 plus 2 equals 5. Next, let's solve for f of 10. How do I write the function now? Well, this will be equal to 1 half, and we replace the x with a 10. Then we add 2. What does this equal? Well, half of 10 is 5, and then plus 2 equals 7. Finally, we could do this for f of negative 10. This will equal half times negative 10 plus 2. What does that equal? Well, half of negative 10 is negative 5. And negative 5 plus 2, that just gives us negative 3. Now it's time for you to practice solving a function on your own. Here's the function f of x equals x squared plus 5. What does f of 1 equal? Well, to solve this, replace the x with your 1. So 1 squared plus 5. And when you do that, 1 squared is 1 plus 5 equals 6. Solve for f of 3. Well, here, again, you replace your x now with the 3. So we have 3 squared plus 5. Well, 3 squared is 9 plus 5 equals 14. Now solve for f of 5. Well, to do this, you would just solve 5 squared plus 5. And 5 squared equals 25. 25 plus 5 gives you 30. Finally, solve for f of negative 2. Well, to do this, you have negative 2 squared plus 5. And remember that negative 2 squared is positive 4, and 4 plus 5 equals 9. Here's your last function for today. The function f of x equals 4x minus 6. Solve for f of 1. Well, when you plug in the 1, you get 4 times 1 minus 6. 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 minus 6 equals negative 2. Solve for f of 2. Well, this will equal 4 times 2 minus 6. 4 times 2 is 8. Minus 6 equals positive 2. Solve for f of 3. Well, this will equal 4 times 3 minus 6. 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 6 equals 6. Finally, solve for f of 12. Well, this will equal 4 times 12 minus 6. 
4 times 12 is 48, and 48 minus 6 equals 42. So from today, remember, f of x is the most common way of writing functions, and this f of x is pronounced as f of x.